Hi guys, Josh from the Ancient History Guy here, and today we are going to be diving into the mysterious land of ancient Egypt and focus on one of its greatest leaders, Pharaoh Ramses II. Before we start, it should be said that we know a lot about Ramses, which is quite amazing seeing that he lived 3,319 years ago. In fact, not only do we know a lot about him, we also have his body, which was found in 1881 in the Valley of Kings. So we think we know a lot about him. Key word there being think. You see, Ramses was pretty much the master of propaganda, and therefore, although we think the sources about him are accurate, we have to take some with a pinch of salt, as he built his entire image off of exaggerations. But one thing's for sure, Ramses was a very, very great man. Ramses was born around 1303 BC to Seti I. Ramses' father Seti had a grand plan of re-establishing Egypt as a power, as it had somewhat dimmed in the last few decades. As a result, Ramses, at age 14, had accompanied his father on many military campaigns, especially against their neighbours, the Hittites, who had expanded their empire from Turkey to Palestine. By the age of 22, Ramses was an experienced general, commanding troops of his own against Nubians. He was also later named Joint Regent Egypt, as his father, after years of war and struggle, died in 1279 BC. Now, around this time, civilizations were facing almost continuous raids from a coalition of seafaring people. They often raided along Egypt due to the land's vast riches. No one knows exactly who these people were. Some say they were Europeans, but simply but no one knows. Indeed, it's only recently that these ancient people gained the name the Sea People. Ramses decided that he was going to tackle these pirates head on. In the second year of his reign, Ramses positioned a small fleet at the mouth of the Nile. A group of sea people called the Sherdan saw an opportunity to break into the Nile and raid along the riverbanks. The Sherdan engaged the small fleet, and it was then that Ramses sprung his trap, engulfing the Sherdan's ships on all sides. Many of the Sherdan who survived were pressed into the Egyptian army, and some even became members of Ramses' royal guard. The engagement with the Sherdan was important because not only did it give Ramses a victory to solidify his people's trust in him, but Ramses also claimed that the Sherdan were allies of the Hittites. This shows to us that the Egyptians and Hittites were not at all on friendly terms. Indeed, Ramses had made it public that he wanted to retake the Syrian lands, especially the city of Kadesh that the Hittites had gained from peace settlement with his father. The conflict was clearly inevitable and Ramses began preparing for a huge invasion into Hittite land. Join us next time to see how Ramses carefully planned to retake Kadesh and how he started to carve himself into history. I've been Josh from the Ancient History Guy, hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time.